Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when word icon is not showing for docs file. So to fix this, the first step is to update your windows. Now, do not skip this. Make sure that your windows is up to date. So for this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now, if you have windows 10, click on update and security. If you have windows 11, click on windows update. Now click on check for update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer. After the update is installed, restart your computer and then try to open your Word file with Word. Now, the next step is to try opening it with Word again. So make a right click on your docs file and then select open with and then select Word. So try it two, three times and check. Now, the next step is to select open with wordpad and then open with word again so select your docs file make a right click then click on open with and then you can click on choose another app and from the list select wordpad so scroll down and then find wordpad select it then click on ok now once done now try opening now change it to word again so make a right click this time open with and then click on choose another app and then select word and then click on ok and then try opening now the next step is to reset default app settings now for this go to the start menu then click on settings now go to apps now click on default apps scroll down at the end here you can see a reset all default apps click on reset reset now after the reset try opening it with word now the next step is to select word in windows settings for this go to the start menu then click on settings now go to apps default apps now find word in the list scroll down and find word click on it and then find docs file so here you can see docs click on it click on choose a default and select word and then click on ok now try opening the docs file now the next step is to make changes in the registry so type in registry editor in windows search box and then click on registry editor click on yes to allow now before you make any changes create a backup for the registry so to create a backup go to file then click on export you can set the location as desktop name this file as backup and for export range for export range select all over here and for save as type select all files and then click on save and let the backup complete now once backup is done in future if you want to restore the registry in that case you can go to file then click on import you can select backup and then click on open this will restore the registry now to make changes expand h key class classes root now I scroll down and find docs so here you can see docs expand it now over here you have to go ahead and create this open with list key in my case it's already there so if you don't have it, make a right click, then click on new and then click on key. And then you can name it as open with list key. In my case, it's already there. So I will not create it. So I will delete this. So if you don't have open with list, make a right click on the docs and then select new and then click on key and name it as open with list. Now inside it, create wordpad.exe. Now expand this open with list. And over here, create wordpad.exe. If you don't have it, make a right click on open with list. And then once you make a right click on open with list, select new and then click on key and then name it as wordpad. Wordpad.exe. In my case, I already have it. So I will not create it. I will delete this. So inside open with list, create wordpad.exe. Now, once this is done, again, make a right click on docs and then 
create a key named word dot document dot sixteen. For this, make a right click on docs, make a right click, then select new, and then click on key and name it as word dot document dot sixteen. And once this is created, now inside this create a new key that is shell new. So make a right click on word document sixteen and then select new, then select key and then name it as shell new. Now once this is created, now select shell new key. You have to go ahead and select this and then once you select it, you have to create. A string value and name it as null file. So select it on the right hand side in the empty space. Make a right click, then select new, and then click on string value, and then name it as null file. Make a right click, rename, and name this as null file. Now once this is done, now select docs key once again on the top. Select it, and over here you can see default. Now default may uh, should be named as Word Document sixteen. So make a double click on default and set the value data as Word dot Document dot sixteen, and then click on OK. So make sure that you have this Word Document sixteen over here inside that shell new inside that there is a null file, and this Word Document sixteen should be default over here. Default Word Document sixteen. Now, once done, you can refresh it, and then you should be able to see the word icon. Now, over here, if you have Word Document sixteen uh, for Microsoft Office three sixty five users, Word Document sixteen is there, I think. And if you have other version of Office, then you might see Word Document twelve. So you have to repeat the process. Instead of Document sixteen, you have to use the word Word Document twelve. That's the only difference. Now, refresh it. If that does not result, resolve, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check the icon should be Word. Now, the last step is to repair Office. To repair Office, type in Control Panel in Windows search box, and then click on Control Panel, and then click on Uninstall a program. Now, find Microsoft Office in the list, and then make a right click, then click on Change. Click on yes, and then you will see the quick repair option. Click on repair, and after the repair, check. So one of the steps should help you to get the word icon back for docs file. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.